This land was bathed in Athena's wisdom, filled with temples dedicated to her skill and judgment. Sites of ancient mystery and dangers untold. Nice. What's the rent like in this neighborhood? Phoenix beheld a magnificent structure, the Archives. A place to study the heroics and strategies of past glories. Ah, that will be where Athena is then. She's got my tactical mind, you know. But you love all your children equally, of course. Ha <laughs> ha! Good one! Phoenix walked through the Archives. Crumbled statues of fallen heroes underfoot. Because why wouldn't you just walk through a creepy, half-destroyed temple? Phoenix is a hero, Zeus. A <laughs> hero is what they call a mortal who dies. Hello? Is someone there? <sighs> come out and face me! I don't want to come out! I just did. Why did I listen to you? A child? I'm not a child. I'm Athena. Athena? Oh. Oh! The goddess of wisdom. The prophecy. A wise child convinced. That's making a lot more sense now. Oh, wow. You have no idea how much I want to meet you. But why are you so small and angry? You'd be angry too if Typhon shrank you, then sent a Hydra after you. I heard your footsteps and thought you were his snaky-faced jerk. Well, I'm not a Hydra, but I am a huge fan of yours. Gods, I have so much I want to ask you. Did you really beat up Ares in the Trojan War? What? Oh, sure. Twice. Wow. And were you really the judge during the trial of- Look. Sorry, what was your name? I'm Phoenix. I can't believe I'm meeting the real Athena, even if she is a little girl. Uh, little goddess? Were you going to call me little girl? I was, yes. That would have gone. I get that. Okay. So I'm willing to accept that you're not a Hydra. But that means there's still a super fierce Hydra out there after me. Where did Typhon hide your essence? If you were restored, that Hydra wouldn't stand a chance. And we'd be one step closer to turning everyone back from stone. Step! The champion volunteers, brave of heart and questionable of fashion. Wait, what? I've been waiting for you! Only the mortal champion can walk the path of the heroes to free Kronos' Staff of Time! Staff of Time? Yes! It contains the power of the God of Time! With it, we'll be able to defeat Typhon and reverse the flow of time to cancel the Stone Curse. Without the stuff, we're lost. Oh, wow. You have a plan to get it. Kronos lost it in the River of Time. It will only appear to the true champion who walks the path. The next step is to kill the Hydra. I could help with that. I've done weirder things on this island. Okay, great. That's all settled. You be my champion, and go kill that super scary Hydra. Wow, that happened fast. A minute ago, you tried to crush me with a statue. Yeah, but that's how fate works, champion. Step one to championing is go get that Hydra. Okay, bye. That's deep. Is there any further wisdom that okay, I should- Okay, bye! 
How clever of Athena to think of the staff of Cronus. She's always on the board, that one. I didn't know you were familiar with it. Of course. Usually, she'd ask my advice, but I was away at the time. What a loss. Phoenix approached the challenge of the Lernian Hydra. Oh yeah, that thing was proof of Heracles' vast stupidity. He cut its heads off with Athena's magic sword, but they kept growing back until they were twice as many. Yes, until Heracles' ally Aeolus used a torch to keep the heads from growing back. He was mortal, you know. At the falls, Phoenix beheld the fearsome stone heads of the Hydra. Fanged faces, straight out of a nightmare. You should see Hera when she's mad. <laughs> Fierce Hydra fell to Phoenix, a triumph on par with the feats of heroes. Wow, Athena wasn't kidding. That was a snaky-faced jerk. It wasn't easy, but that Hydra won't be a problem anymore. What's the next step on the pan? Uh, next... The, the, the champion to be is supposed to aid the Winged Outcast. The Winged Outcast? Oh, the bird I rescued. I've already done that. This is going great. Wow, you're really excited about having saved a bird. That's weird. You're weird, but good. A weird champion is still a champion. I mean, I did more than just save a bird. You did it! Hydra Gonzo and Wingy thingy helped. Um, what was the... Oh, yeah! So the next step on the path is to become like the great heroes. And heroes get blessings. Thank you, Athena. Uh-huh. Big stuff, right? You'll be a hero just like Atalanta, Achilles, Odysseus, and Heracles. And then, the staff will be yours. Okay. So what's next? Uh... What was it? Oh! That's right. Study the paths of the heroes and follow in their footsteps. Nice. Then what? Then what? A fire without wind burns for no one. <laughs> That's so wise. You're saying I need to focus on the now. Go do a thing! Learn the hero lessons!
phoenix came upon the forest of Atalanta, a woman known for her stubborn refusal to marry and her legendary skill in the hunt for the Caledonian boar. Look, I've been married a bunch. She might have been onto something. I'm sure your wives would agree. Stubborn Atalanta. First to strike, and first to action. How Atalanta's arrow was the first to pierce the hide of the Caledonian boar. Her story was a remarkable triumph for perseverance after her father abandoned her in the woods and she was raised by bears. All because she was a girl. The gods, I, myself, would never do something like that. Just ask Athena. If I can get a word in edgewise. During the great war with Troy, the rage of Achilles devastated the Trojan forces before his exposed heel proved his downfall. For a mortal, he got stuff done. What a wrecking ball. But so tender. You felt like you could just open your heart to him. Zeus? He was no god, but game recognized game. That's all I'm saying, you know. Uh-huh. Confident Achilles. The river Styx protected you from all, but alas, not all of you was protected. Agamemnon. Oh, I remember that. He stopped fighting for the Greeks. With disastrous consequences, but yes. The will of mortals should not be underestimated. Stubborn pride defeated Achilles long before that arrow pierced his mortal heel, Prometheus. But his courage and determination live on. After studying two of the heroes, Phoenix's head was swimming with their histories. He found himself admiring the statue of Achilles. Oh, who wouldn't? Look at him! Hey, Achilles. You must have learned a lot on your adventures, huh? Or maybe you didn't need to learn anything. Guys like you and my brother, maybe you just know what to do. Well, so what if it's not easy? You weren't perfect, but look at everything you did. And with Athena guiding me. Thanks, buddy. Good talk. I'll keep trying. And you watch that heel, huh? Cunning Odysseus, you outsmarted a nation, angered the god of the sea, and won back the heart of your love. When the Greeks had given up hope of winning the war with Troy, the sure wisdom of Athena inspired Odysseus. I'll admit, I liked that bit when Odysseus told the Cyclops his name was Nobody. Then, when he put his eye out, the big dummy was all, Oh, nobody has blinded me! <laughs> the mortals can be quite clever sometimes, can't they? Determined Odysseus did not abandon his long journey home. 
Though his path was difficult, he saw it through. For a mortal, he did all right. I'll give him that. I'm not unreasonable. of Heracles. Having to work for King Eurystheus must have sucked. You felt bad for Heracles? Nah, he needed to atone, but the king, adding the apples and Cerberus to the original ten labors, was kind of a jerk move. Lion, Hydra of Lerna, Carinian Hind, Aramanthian Boar, Stables of Aegeus, Stymphalian Birds, Cretan Bull, Man-Eating Horses, Belt of Hippolyta, Cattle of Geryon, Golden Apples of the Hesperides, and Cerberus. The twelfth and final labor of Heracles, to capture the vicious pet of Hades and guardian of the Underworld, Cerberus. Oh, I remember that. That was epic. And to think he accomplished it while he was mortal. Heracles had many human flaws. He was quick to anger, he cheated on his wife, he was boastful and proud. Be fair though, he kicked a lot of ass. For a mortal, you mean? Yeah, right, of course. <laughs> Athena! Oh! Hi, Phoenix! How's, uh, uh, championing? The heroes were so stubborn. And they had their flaws, but they were so sure of themselves. In some ways, their flaws were what made them great. Sure, sure, sounds great. Super wise stuff. Is there something over by that temple? No, you stay away from that temple! Uh, staying away is a lesson too. And wisdom, and fate, all the things. You leave the wisdom stuff to me. Meet me at the Moria Tree Sanctuary when you're ready. The stuff of time is nearly yours. That was weird, right? You guys thought that was weird. No? Temple key. And it's Athena's symbol. This must be what she was looking for. Oh, I get it. This is my own hero puzzle. She gave me the clue and put this here for me to find. So I figure out my own path, just like the heroes. Good boys, stay. The priest of Apollo? Oh, hey! You... What are you doing here? Oh, you know... 
prophecies, <laughs> professors. <laughs> yeah, I've learned so much since I heard your prophecy. I have so many questions. Oh, man. Everyone has a question. I had to give that tiny god lady a whole big thing before she'd leave me alone. Champion this, champion that. Athena? You mean the path of the heroes? It was a prophecy? Well, not a real one. Not like that freaky thing that happened with you before. But she demanded a plan, you know? So I made one up. You made one up? If the path of the heroes is made up, then how am I supposed to summon the Staff of Time? Oh. Is that what you're trying to do? There is no Staff of Time, is there? I was the champion. This was supposed to be my fate. Maybe. But, like, sometimes there's a reason for the things that happen, and we don't even know, you know? Maybe it's a fake prophecy, but your actual destiny. Who can say? An oracle? Yeah, good luck finding one of those. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go. See you again, buddy. Will you? I never know, honestly. <laughs> You thought I thought the Staff of Time was real. Got you, Prometheus! Uh-huh. In fact, you were the one deceived. How can that be if I am the one telling the story in which the reveal occurred? I used the Staff of Time to change the story so that it doesn't exist. What's Phoenix up to? Athena blessed mortals with many gifts. The Temple of Athena is where mortals came to return the favor. Finally, you say something that makes sense. Mortals aren't good for much, but I too like the presence. Uh, Athena! Oh, gods, no! Did they eat her? They better not have! Sacrifices? Athena, you're okay! Why did you have a knife? To make you the champion! Didn't you learn anything in the hero puzzles? All the heroes failed. But then they became better and stronger. We're going to go straight to that part. Ha! Huh. You mean the part where they became race? The prophecy says that my champion must become like the heroes of old and new to summon the Staff of Time. And the heroes of old are all race! Athena, wait! That oracle is a fraud! You've been duped with a false prophecy! It's... A, it's a real prophecy! She said with the Staff we can... We'll be big and strong and use the staff to beat Typhon and reverse time. How, Athena? After we're corrupted, then what? We'll be slaves to Typhon. There is no staff. Trust in you. You're the goddess of wisdom. Everyone looks to you for judgment and strategy. Is this your path? What someone else told you? I don't know. Zeus used to tell me what to do. That's right. We're the perfect team. That's why she loves me. 
But you didn't always take his advice. You knew better. The nerve of this mortal! Athena, we need real judgment to beat Typhon. Not a flimsy magic staff. Something solid, like that temple. My temple? Oh, I could use the power of my temple to open where my essence is. But it would have to be cleansed. I don't know if it's worth it. That temple is just like you. It's glorious, but it's lessened. Don't make fun of me! I'm not. I'm going to show you what I mean. First, we need to restore your temple. But why? Because I'm stubborn. Like you used to be. my blessing. I was going to give it to you anyway. To make you a better, you know, brave. <sighs> Good luck, Phoenix. Who needs luck? We've got wisdom on our side. Now, proper offering. The Owl Key. Symbol of Athena's wise judgment. Seems appropriate. Look, Athena. This is who you are. Who you need to be again. But I wasn't even right all the time. And Zeus always tried to butt in with his judgments. You were sure of yourself. You chose your own path. Being open to every plan means that you're going to end up following a patchwork mess. You're right! I hated it when Zeus told me what to do, because I knew better! He drove me up the wall! No! What are you saying, Athena? This... this can't be! I was only trying to help! Old favorites die hard. But it was so tough! I had to know and decide so much! I don't know if I'm ready to take on that weight again! We'll face Typhon together this time. But we need you to be the whole you. You're right. I need to be big again. I need all of me. Final blessing. You've earned it. Come. There. I've opened the way to my essence. But it's scary down there. Leave this part to your champion. Can you wait for me in the Hall of the Gods? I guess... Hermes better not make fun of me for being little. You're not little, Athena. You are wise and powerful. And soon, we'll make Typhon regret he ever messed with you. Okay, yeah! We'll team up and we'll, um... Punch his stupid face! That's a good judgment. Works for me. And if Hermes is annoying while I'm gone, just kick him in the knees. You're the right height. 
they were always just suggestions. Is that what Athena said? She's not herself right now. She's just being emotional. Maybe for once, instead of talking, you should listen to your daughter. Please, Prometheus. Tell me you made it up. It is the truth, Zeus. I'm her dad. That may be, but it doesn't give you the right to tell her how to do her job. And especially not when she's more qualified than you. statue stands alone. She's always been there for heroes. They should be there for her. Listen to me. Trust me. Let me guide you. Listen to me instead of talking over me, Zeus. Trust my judgment. Phoenix realized that Athena's essence had been corrupted by Typho. The snake-haired figure on her aegis had come to life. Could I have made a mistake? No. It is the others who are wrong. To battle! With my strategy, you are invincible. Only two more heroes to go. Your father and mother wanted what was best for you. A simple, safe life as a farmer, providing for your family. Instead, you're going to die here on this island alone. No! I alone am fit to sit in judgment. Aphrodite, you vain idiot! Zeus, listen to me. You know I'm right. One hero. Athena should be surrounded by all four heroes. You don't want to help your brother. You want to take his place. You're no hero. Maybe you're right. The Faceless is not fit to bask in my radiance, let alone touch me. What was Ares thinking? The fool. The mortals must be shown the way. My way. We are here for you, Athena. You don't have to stand alone. Together, we will defeat Typhon. You'll never stand against the darkness. You're right! I'll never stand alone! But all together, we'll hold each other up.
You got it? My essence? Just like we planned. Are you ready? I... I think so. Wise Athena, gods and mortals will work as one. Leading us all. Phoenix! I am restored! Although, you could have been quicker about it, honestly. And those wings you're wearing, they're a safety hazard. Daedalus' designs are shoddy and ill-conceived. And while we're talking about shoddy and ill-conceived, you, Hermes... Oh, here we go. She's always got something to say. Oh, Athena! Glad you're back. But maybe... uh... <sighs> yes. Maybe it's time for me to be more judicious with all these judgments. You know, I really admire you. You're critical, but you're also wise. Most of the time. Thank you, Phoenix. And together, we'll begin on a new, wise plan. But, um... We can still punch Typhon in the face, right? Phoenix learned that being critical, judgmental, even stubborn, is not always a flaw. It can give one the surety needed to refuse bad counsel. Maybe I should have listened to Athena more often, rather than trying to be right all the time. Perhaps the great Zeus is fallible after all. Ah, uh, no, that's not what I'm saying. My judgments are all pretty great. You... you chained me to a rock! An eagle pecks out my liver every single day! <laughs> I know. With all four crests of the Fallen, Phoenix could now pass through the mysterious door. Inside the Tomb of the Heroes, Phoenix could feel the presence of the great mortal warriors of old, summoned to the Golden Isle to fight Typhon. What a bunch of turncoats! Achilles, known as the war hero to end all heroes, had an unconquerable hubris too easily stoked by Typhon. I can't look at that sweet, sweet face! Betrayer! No, wait, just one more glance. Atalanta, insatiable huntress with a strength of mind and body unmatched. But the master of the axe lost her way, and her distraction caused her demise. Then, only Heracles and Odysseus remain. One, the divine epitome of masculine prowess, and the other, a king with unparalleled intelligence. They fought hard. But Typhon outwitted Heracles' brute strength, and Odysseus, driven mad by inadequacy when he couldn't best Typhon, fell like the rest. Long would they suffer under Typhon's grip, until Phoenix came to set them free and surprise us all. For now. Phoenix ascended towards the mysterious room. A place where heroism passes into eternity. For a guy trying to get unchained from a rock, you sure do like to stop and chew on a scene. Uh, 
An empty pedestal? One fit for a hero. can't believe it. I'll try to be worthy of this. I swear it. How does it feel to be back, Athena? It's fine. A little damp. Not to complain. I'm trying not to be critical, but maybe someone should have built a few more walls here. Working on a plan to take down Typhon? Oh, yes. But there's something else we should take care of first. During the war with Typhon, I had... I thought I had the perfect plan to stop him. But just as I was about to strike, the harpy known as Azomini flew at me. She distracted me long enough for Typhon to turn me into a child. Reduced, Azomini carried me away in her filthy talons. I managed to escape, but she's still out there, somewhere. She won't mess with you again. I'll find her and bring her down. Really? Just like that? Of course. I'm your champion, aren't I? <laughs> Technically, no. You never completed the path. But I'm trying to be more flexible, so... Go then, O oh champion... ...to be. How'd I do? Divine. Then go already. Go do... ...hero things. I know you will. What if I don't want to compromise? I want to earn the full title, Champion. Earn it? Then you'd have to be better than Heracles, Odysseus, Atalanta, and Achilles. I've never heard of such a thing. My bar is tremendously high. What happens if I surpass it? Tell me, are there any statues of you back home? No, but there's a statue of me here. Because I already did hero things. I bested all of them. Why, so there is a statue. You outflanked me, champion. Woo! Yes! Better not get used to it. For I will not underestimate you again. Just then, Ozomini, Terror of the Isles, Scourge of the Skies, Abductor of Nike, swooped in. Ozomini had fallen. Though Phoenix could not hear it, Nike exhaled a sigh of relief. Wise Athena, I defeated Ozomini for you. I'm grateful, Phoenix. If not for Ozomini, I might have saved us all from Typhon. I recently learned from some heroes I met that when things don't go right, you need the determination to make a new plan. That's what we'll do. Take this armor as a token of my gratitude. It will come in handy should you ever have to face another Gorgon. Thank you. <laughs> 